Thank you for joining the Northern Miner at the annual PDAST convention in Toronto. Joining me now is Dundee Sustainable Technologies CEO, Jean-Philippe Mai. Thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. So uh, let's start off by asking you to please introduce us to the company and some of its key offerings to the mining industry. Yes, well, Dundee Sustainable Technologies, uh, we've been around for, for over a decade now. We're uh, mainly and focused on the development and now commercialization of novel metallurgical processes for the, for the industry. Uh, so our core processes are, are first the Clever process, which is a cyanide-free gold extraction process. And we also uh, develop an expertise with working a lot with complex metallurgy and uh, notably uh, material associated with arsenic, arsenopyrite. So we've developed our glass lock process, which is for the removal and stabilization of arsenic. Okay. So let's focus a little bit more in on the Clever process. Um, it has been proven to reduce leaching and extracting time with, uh, for gold uh, without using toxic materials like cyanide. Um, how is this even possible? Yeah, well, we've, we've come and, 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 and utilized a completely different chemical approach. So uh, what we do is we use sodium hypochlorite, actually a, a, a dilute uh, concentration of sodium hypochlorite, which is nothing else than your household bleach. Uh, so we use this in acidic condition, uh, which allows to rapidly put gold into solution. So what we're doing really is playing and utilizing uh, novel chemical tools, uh, utilizing sodium hypochlorite and a catalytic amount of sodium hypobromide to rapidly put gold into solution and to use a complete alternative leak solution. Okay. And then uh, at the, on the other side, the glass lock process, it removes and stabilizes arsenic associated with precious metals and base metals uh, metallurgical uh, processes. Please explain to us, how does that work? Yeah, well, it's, it, it, became, uh, it came more as a second phase to our, our, our goal process because when you're developing a new goal process, uh, people really send you their worst uh, type of material because when there's... Uh, there's no issues, people are not looking for solutions. So when working with, with challenging uh, ore bodies and, and refractory ore bodies, notably containing or associated to arsenal pyrite, when we were decomposing that, that sulfide uh, compound, we were left with an arsenic product which needed to be stabilized. So this is what forced us uh, to develop our glass lock process. So it's we utilize arsenic and we form a compound which is stable on the melting temperature of glass, which allows us to incorporate high amounts of arsenic with it, an insoluble glass matrix. So that transforms into a very stable inner and non-toxic arsenic bearing uh, glass, which is uh, easily disposed of and provides a lot of efficiency when it, when it comes to handling toxic materials such as arsenic. That's fascinating stuff. So. In combination, um, how can either of these processes increase recovery rates and reduce costs? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's always the, the, the objective, right, is to be more efficient. So utilizing uh, efficient chemistry, being able to put gold into solution rapidly in one hour as opposed to one day uh, allows for significant benefits in terms of, uh, of plant uh, footprint uh, for equal throughput. Uh, which can then translate into uh, infrastructure and civil cost uh, reduction. So being efficient, using uh, a novel and, and, and efficient chemical approach uh, to really efficiently uh, uh, handle and then to put gold into solution and recover your metals. And it, same goes for, for glass lock, is, is being serious about the handling of your toxic uh, materials such as arsenic by, by being responsible and, and, and providing and generating a stable final and permanent disposal uh, for the arsenic, uh, ultimately it reduces liability and, and helps save costs and, uh, and provide a, a better and, and the right alternative uh, for, for any project developers handling uh, with such challenges. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Um, so uh, have you forged any major partnerships to date? Um, I believe you've worked with Newmont. Um, can you perhaps give us some of the highlights, how that has gone? How, does the, how do these products uh, scale in the field? Yeah, I, I think there's, uh, you know, we've been uh, pushing our processes for, for several years. 
And, and now we're seeing a lot more engagement from e either advanced project developers, uh, mid-tier miners, and, and major miners that, that do have a lot of experience with various operations that have seen challenges, have seen uh, uh, places where uh, traditional processes do not or may not apply uh, in an efficient manner. So this really allows us and helps us to, to forge those new collaboration and to be able to uh, to position our processes and, and to value them, to, to, to really put some numbers on, on the efficiency and how our processes uh, operate. So, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been very great in the, in the, in the past few years, uh, building new collaboration with, with mid-tiers and major miners. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you view the deal landscape at the moment, perhaps? Are, are there other opportunities uh, that you're looking at? Oh, I, I think there's, there's, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of good projects and very uh, uh, fascinating projects we're involved with. Uh, we really were looking forward to uh, uh, hopefully start the construction of a glass lock plant in Africa uh, in 2025. So that's, that would be a big milestone for us. And, and also to, to, to work and to build our project database to really have more uh, data there and being, bring more awareness to, to Dundee's uh, processes uh, in, in the short term. Um, are there any other synergies that you could uh, see forming with uh, partnering with major miners? I think I think we're we're really uh, hoping to have uh, bring curiosity, bring more awareness, asking people to uh, to do some trade off, to try us, do some test work, uh, but also to to work more with uh, with the industry as 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 a as a broader spectrum. Uh, working more closely with engineering firms who are also very involved in, in, in process uh, development and flow sheet developments, working with equipment uh, manufacturers. We already have a few uh, partnership with, with equipment manufacturers, but we want to do more partnership because this helps de-risks uh, any new approaches, any new process that, that you're, you're bringing to market. So I think there's a lot of different ways where, where we see ourselves forging new partnership and, and developing over the, the coming years. And then uh, perhaps looking forward over the next 12 months or so, are there any major plans or catalysts that you can share with us at this point? Well, as I mentioned, we're hopefully uh, going to start the build of a, of a glass lock plant in, in Africa in 2025. That'd be a big milestone uh, for us. Uh, finalizing some, uh, uh, some basic and hopefully some detailed engineering on, again, putting more uh, framework technically and economically around our process and this allows for for decision making and, and this fast tracks the implementation of our processes. Okay and perhaps lastly um, where in the mining cycle or when rather is it best to approach uh, Dundee uh, sustainable technologies uh, to gain the most value uh, if you were to you know uh, consider using it? I, I think there's uh, there's no right answer to this but I think uh, earlier on is always a, a good place to start because that allows to do some some proper trade-offs uh, at the right stage before you're too committed down a flow sheet and we're not asking anyone to, to write off a portion of the, the capital invested in a certain direction. So earlier on is always great because we can get to compare ourselves on on, on level basis. But anyone or, or any operation that is facing challenges, I think it's never too late to to really look at, at what's out there in terms of, of processes and, and op options for uh, either handling arsenic or improving gold recovery. All right, uh, that was the Dundee Sustainable Technologies CEO, Jean-Philippe May. Thanks for making time. Thank you.